Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this microsoft azure devops tutorial series today let's discuss about work items in azure boards okay so in my previous video i gave you a quick introduction about what is devops what is azure devops and uh, we also created a very simple project using azure devops right so now you can see it here right so i created an organization called crm tiago and i ha also have a I also created a very simple project called Project Azure DevOps Demo. So this is the very first project that we created in our last video. Let's dig into this project in detail and try to understand what are different components present inside this project. <coughs> All right, now I'm going into this project and you can see that we have a lot of tabs on the left hand side. We have overview, we have boards, repos, pipelines, test plan and artifacts. Okay, so these are the key components that is present in Azure DevOps. So we will look into each and everything in detail in our upcoming videos, All right? So if you see this first, very first tab overview, I thought of covering this overview at the very last because you can see mm, what overview has is it has summary, it has dashboards and wiki, okay? So you know, currently we don't have anything inside our project, right? So it, it won't make much sense for us to view this uh, dashboard and summary and wiki at the very first because it will look very blank so what i thought is like i will cover all this part in my initial videos and finally i will cover an uh, videos regarding this overview so that you will have a very clear understanding about uh, what uh, summary displays and what dashboards and what what wiki is known for okay so as of now in this particular video let's focus on what are work items in Azure boards? You can see the boards has a lot of uh, components in it. Like if we have work items, we have boards, backlog, sprint, queries and delivery plans, right? But in this particular video, let's focus only on what is work items in boards, okay? So before going to this work item, so let me tell you what this Azure boards will be useful with, okay? So why do we need this board? Because in a simple terms, Okay, it will help you in planning, tracking and discussing the work items across your teams. Okay, it also helps you in defining and update issues, bugs, user stories and other work with customizable Scrum, Kanban and Agile tools. Okay, so it will in simple words you know, from for a layman, like if I, if I have to make this uh, to understand for a layman, then the boards is generally used to plan and track your work. Okay, so similarly, the work items helps you in simplifying that process. We can use that work item to plan and track work of each and every individuals present in your team. Okay, so each work item represents an object stored in the work item data store. Each work item is based on a work item type. Okay, so once we uh, uh, start looking at uh, this in detail, you will understand what work item is. So I will, I will. Uh, you, I will avoid this theoretical uh, speech because you know once you start looking at the practical demo, I think you will clearly understand what work items is, what are different options that is present inside present inside work items. Okay, so here let me go into work items. <clears throat> okay, now we don't have anything like we created a brand new project, right? So we don't have any work items. So in order to create a new work item, you can see you can use this plus icon we have three basic work items here like we have something called epic we have something called issue we have task okay so the work items is basically displayed based on the uh, project the project type that you are working on so what i have done is i have created a very basic project so you can see this work items like epic issue and task okay if you go into this project settings right so you can see in this overview i have created a very I have created a basic uh, process, basic project type. So inside this basic, what you will have is you will have only very basic level of uh, work item types. Like you can see under basic, you will have only epic issues and task, right? Where else if you go with different uh, project type, like we have agile, we have scrum, we have CMMI. So if you go into agile, um, we have different work item types like we have bug, epic, feature, issues, tasks, user story, everything. Similarly, we have few different work item types in uh, Scrum as well. So, like we have bug, epic, future, impediment. We have lot of things here. Again, if you go to CMMI type, you have different work item types. Here. 
okay so you can choose whatever is suitable for your project okay based on the um, project you are working on you can decide what type of uh, uh, development methodology you, you want for your particular project and you can choose that okay for now since it was by uh, uh, de by default it was basic so i think it created a work item uh, basic whereas here i will focus on uh, um, creating an agile project because uh, agile is very widely used agile and scrum are very widely used but in this particular series let's focus only on mostly on agile okay so i will i'll set it as a default project now let me go to my <coughs> home page and i'll create a new project okay let's try to create a project called project um, online devops demo okay so you i am creating this as a private project and if you need to give any other um, options also you can select here you can see here we have a work item type right so here i can select what what work items i need so uh, we already set the agile by default right so i'm just going ahead with this work item process <coughs> so i have created it let's wait for a moment for this project to be created okay now yeah now our project is created you can see the similar kind of information on the left hand side is present and now let's go quickly go to work items <coughs> excuse me yeah now if i click on this new work item you can see i have different work item types here like i have bug epic yeah issues feature user story i will try to make a separate video about what these each work items defined for what these each work items are known okay so do not worry first we will but in this particular video we will just focus on what is uh, how to create new work items and how to play with it okay so for example if i want to create an epic okay generally whenever you start an agile project right you will you will have an epic where the main focus of the business is generally uh, documented okay let's create a new uh, epic say since i am i am trying to use it for an online um, what kind of requirement can we have okay so let's try to uh, let's have a new requirement where a uh, business is trying to add a new payment type in your online uh, platform so let's say they uh, add new payment <coughs> gift card okay say your business is trying to add a new payment called gift card so i have created a new epic called uh, add uh, add new payment gift card okay so now you can add all other required information like you can add the description you can put the requirements in detail and you can set the priority and you can if if there is any risk you can play with all this time all this um, uh, fields that is present in say present inside your epic i will try to explain all these fields in detail in our upcoming videos okay so you can set the priority you can set the risk the effort needed for this epic the business value time criticality when is the start date and end date and <clears throat> like uh, you can also relate and uh, like add the uh, related work items so you can you can do lot of lot of things with this epic okay so for now i will i will create a simple epic and i will try to save it okay now i have saved it now if i come back to work item you can see the epic is assigned in my work item board okay so this is how you can use uh, the options present inside in this particular uh, work item uh, tab and you can create new work items all right so now i have created an epic <coughs> excuse me and if i want to create a, um, a feature or user story within that epic also you can create okay so say i will create a new user story like let me tell add new option for gift card in payment page okay now um, i am setting this priority to 1 okay so which means highest priority i can also men highlight the story points so in in your sprint planning session you can 
டிஃபைன் யுவர் ஸ்டோரி பாயிண்ட்ஸ் லைக் ஹவு மச் எஃபர்ட் எஃபர்ட் இட் வில் டேக் ஃபார் யூ டு கம்ப்ளீட் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் யூஸ் ஸ்டோரி ஓகே um do not worry uh, i will again try to cover all these things in detail in my upcoming videos for now we'll just create a basic use story i'll have i'm saving it now if i come back to my work items you can see i have created an epic and use story now our use story is displayed here okay uh, there is an option to assign also for example if uh, if i for now i'm just trying to assign it to myself but if you want to assign it to your team what you need to do is you need to create a team for you okay first of all there is an option called team under project settings so if you go here you can create a new team okay and you can also uh, set up say i will tell online team and i can add any members i can add the email id of the members say what um, chandran.r at gmail.com okay so or you can add the email id of 50 members and finally you can um, set the privileges you, do you want uh, the team member to be as admin or just a contributor you can set the level of permissions you want and you can just create it you can create the team and add the members also okay now we have <coughs> excuse me now you have two members inside your, inside your team if you want to add more team members also you can click on this add and start adding uh, more team members to your uh, online team all right so now let me go back to my board so here i have right so if i go into this particular uh, let's go into this epic if i try to assign this to someone right i can assign this so this way you can assign you can create a new team and assign the task or epic or user story to your individual team members okay so once uh, this uh, task is uh, once the epic or user story or task is created you can change the state of the task so you, you there are lot of states here like you, we have new active resolved closed and remove right so currently it is in new state because we created it as a fresh epic so once the once i have started working on this epic you can move it to active status okay and you can save it now if i come back to my work items you can see um, now my epic is there my my user story is present it is also show it is also showing to whom it is assigned and um, it is showing the state of your uh, pro, uh, your work item if it is, is it active or closed or new you can view the state here and it's showing the area path we, there is something called tags uh, we can add some tags is generally used for uh, uh, tracking you know uh, something like um, for example say your user story is blocked due to some reason blocked or on hold okay there's an option to add tag like i can mention it as blocked okay and if i save so whenever a scrum or your stand up comes across right you can if you want to discuss on this blocked work items you can filter it using tags basically tags is is, is one of a filter option to uh, filter option to discuss on your scrum meetings okay and see i have a tag called blocked you can change it to anything like in case if it is an if it is up for discussion or if it is on hold for any reason you can add the relevant tags that is suitable for your team and you can start um you know editing it accordingly okay and finally uh, you have comments you have activity date you can also add lot of you have something called column options here you know you can add or remove the column options according to your project requirement you there's an option to add column and once you add it and click okay um, it will be added okay so you can just play with this and see what what and all options you have when you want to add a new column okay and we have something called open in queries open in queries is like we have a query section it is again an option to filter uh, your work items based on uh, Uh, basically it is used to filter your work items so we have an option to write a custom query and based on that custom query we can filter our work items all right so we will see this query option in detail in our upcoming video for now i think we almost discussed about all the key items in the azure boards and the work items 
and finally yeah sorry i forgot to highlight about something called import work item okay so uh, say you have uh, for some reason you are maintaining your work items in a different uh, channel like say you are maintaining it in an excel or csv or um, or any kind of different documentation you maintain in your project in case if you you want to upload it in bulk into this work item azure boards you can sim you can simply use this import work item option okay and start uploading that csv file into your uh, boards okay it generally it, uh, it will support only csv files okay so i uh, for simplifying that i have already created a csv file which has all the basic information that is needed for me to create a work items in uh, work items in azure boards right so i have a column called work item type and i have a column called title and i have a column called priority so i think these are the very basic default fields that is needed for me to create a task um, but in in case if you want if you have other columns also you can add like you can have uh date your story points whatever uh, i uh, details you want also you can add it according to your requirement for now to keep this simple i have added only three columns called work item title and priority okay so why work item i have different work items like i have user story i have a task and i have a bug created for me so user story is i want to add my gift card with uh, i want to verify how my gift card works with other debit card options too okay and uh, task i have i want to verify how my gift card uh, op payment option goes along with mastercard okay so what happens i add my gift card payment along with mastercard options too and i have raised a bug also like gift card text box does not allow more than five digits so i am i am uh, i have just created a bug also and i'm just documenting it here so what all you need to do is you need even even if you have it in an excel file all you need to do is you just need to convert it into a csv and uh, add the required columns whatever you need okay for now i have added these basic columns uh, let me try to import it okay now if now let me choose the file and i'm just importing this gift card work items and finally if i import it all right you can see now uh, it is imported okay you can see the work item user story task and bug okay i you can see the title and the priority displayed here so it imported all the items from my csv file all i need to do is I'm, i just need to save all these individual uh, work item so i'm just saving it save it okay now if i go to my work items you can see the three work items that, that was present in my csv file is also displayed over here okay so the bug the user story uh, the user story and the task is created for me okay so this is how you can uh, use work item to plan assign and track all the work items within your project team okay so if you are someone who knows how agile and scrum works i think this might be very easy for you to understand all these work item types in case if you are not sure about what these kind of uh, work item types are known for do not worry i will try to make a separate video in making you understand what these each work items are known for okay so i think yeah this is what i want to cover as part of this work items uh, video i will try to come up with all the other uh, options present in bo azure boards in my upcoming videos okay all right guys that's all what i want to cover uh, so in case if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i add new videos thank you